Hello Libra, this is Deborah, Deborah Claire Channel Guidance, and we're here for your September 2020 reading. Libra, I've just come out of meditation, as I always do, and there was a very interesting vision that came through. Um, I was shown a couple walking around a property. They were very interested in it, but there was a big problem because they wanted to make some internal changes and they were told that one of the walls in the property was a supporting wall, not a partition wall. Now, I know a lot of you are frowning going, what the hell? I know. Um, now, later on, I was told, I was shown rather a meeting, this couple with an architect. And the architect was sitting down and saying to them, look, you know, we've done this structural survey and it turns out that the wall that we thought was a supporting wall is actually a partition wall. Now, it made all the difference because what the, the message that came through was something, Libra, that you felt was a very big block that was immovable, okay, was actually not that much of a problem and could easily be worked around, could easily be removed, okay? So there is something here about you understanding um, that a block that had prevented you from moving forward could be towards someone, could be in, in a situation, really could be easily removed with a little bit of research, with a little bit of research, okay? So Libra, let's move into this and see where this goes. Um, great to be with you guys, by the way. <laughs> I have to get my visual out before it kind of dissipates. Um, just a little bit of a heads up, I am in the centre of Nice and there are renovations going on above me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, September is the month when, you know, um, some of the, uh, the properties are sorted out. So if there's any sound that comes through, please just ignore it and accept my apologies. Okay, guys, it is life. Okay, so Libra, let's begin. Archangel Michael, thank you for being here. Can we have your message, please, for my Libras? This is for September 2020. Thank you, Michael. September 2020. B is coming through. Letter B. Okay, and 43 is also a number coming through. Um, and I'm hearing the end of it, the end of... Michael, what is the word, please? He's trying to channel through. The end of delays, the end of delays, you're, you're realising that something was a block is no longer a block and there are no more delays. Beautiful. <clears throat> Interesting though. Wow. Oh, okay. The Hierophant card came through. Um, that is actually about structures, organisations, buildings. That's also the card of Taurus. It can represent marriage. Mm, okay. Okay, let's just um, let's just see where this goes. Okay, guys, still um, a few question marks in my mind, but usually things clear up quite quickly. Okay, all right, yeah, and I'm hearing no enlightenment. There's no enlightenment, no enlightenment. Oh, okay. So we've got Taurus again. We've also got the energy of a wife and mother. Okay, strong Leo, Libra. Okay. Something that you thought was a block, it's not really. Okay, interesting energy. Interesting energy. I'm gonna move these over a fraction, guys, just because I want you to see as many of the cards as possible, okay? Wow. Wow, yeah, no more delays, fast movement forward, something that was almost a sticking point, something that was preventing you from moving forward, you're going to realise is actually not that much of an issue. All right, okay. Yeah, let's just um, see where this goes. Okay, I'm actually hearing... Um, <clears throat> Wow, my, sorry, my throat's closed up. Someone here has not spoken their truth. Somebody here has not revealed what they are really wanting in a connection. 
Yeah, Nine of Wands, persevering with something, Libra. You're persevering with something. Um, and there is a decision that you're going to be making. Okay, all right. A decision you're going to be making, persevering with a situation. Okay. All right, guys, moving the camera a fraction. There we go. Okay, all right. So Libra, we start with the sun in reverse and I'm hearing no, no enlightenment. I've got no enlightenment. I could be moving into a place of happiness, forward movement, contentment, stability, right? But mm, no enlightenment, no forward movement. Sitting on the fence, stagnant energy. Now you could be, of course, literally just dealing with a Libra who is maybe feeling a bit unbalanced, a bit emotional in a situation. Crossing that energy is the Empress. This can represent wife, mother. It's also the energy of Taurus. It is also just manifesting change. This is someone very powerful, Libra. You could be connecting with someone quite powerful. In full manifestation mode. It could be that you're very confused about how you feel about this person, what you're wanting with this person. What do I want? Michael's telling me the words early days. This is early days. What I'm really feeling here, Libra, this is the energy pertaining to you just about having met someone, just. Um, it could be that you're dating just a couple of months. It could be that you've literally just met someone that you feel very attracted to. But the issue has been that this person might have been very feet on the ground and very straight with you about what they were looking for. So what I mean by that, Libra, is I may be connecting with a Libra man. It may well be that you're very attracted to this woman. You feel you could create a lot with this woman. This is someone who nurtures a situation, somebody who kind of ticks all the boxes. But the issue is, is that this woman may have kind of turned around and said to you after the first or second date, um, words to the effect of, you know, I really am looking for long term commitment and I'm really wanting marriage. And if I'm connecting with a Libra man who's divorced, who or who isn't quite sure that that's what they want, you might have kind of withdrawn emotionally a little bit and thought to yourself, oh, that's a shame because... I really like this woman, but I'm just not sure that we're on the same page. I'm not sure I want marriage. I'm not sure I want long-term commitment. No enlightenment about kind of where this is going, but you don't want to lose contact with this particular woman because she does, and I'm hearing again, tick all your boxes. In the past with the King of Wands, you took action on this woman, Libra. You could have fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in your rising moon or Venus. You took action because you were very attracted to this woman. But I feel after you realise that this woman, wow, she wants something really serious. She's being very honest and straightforward with me, which I respect. I admire that. But wow, yeah, she's kind of said to me very soon after meeting, yeah, you know, I'm really not wanting a casual connection. I'm not wanting friends with benefits. I'm wanting something really stable. And you've looked at this woman, Libra, and you've realised, yeah, actually, you know what? She does tick all the boxes. I don't blame her because she knows her worth. And she knows that if I don't move forward with her, there may well be two or three other guys out there who would want to move forward with her. So she's not bothered whether or not that's an issue for me. Because in her mind, she could walk away from me and find someone else, no problem. But we get on. We're, we're kind of in a situation where we know that growth is possible. We know that we could move forward. There's a very strong mutual interest. So after taking action and then realising that this woman was, well, hang on, cowboy. You know, I'm really looking for something stable, something grounded. I'm not up for a quick fling. She is the empress, after all. You pull back, Libra. Page of Wands in reverse. You kind of pull back. 
Now, it may be that you just turned the texts or the emails or the conversation over the phone um, to be more, um, what is the word, Michael? Platonic, thank you. So you moved away from maybe giving her the impression that you were very sexually attracted to her, you know, a bit of flirty messaging, to almost communicating with her as you would do a new friend. Okay, so dropping the flirtatiousness, dropping the sort of passionate connotation and giving her a little bit more space. So maybe if you emailed or messaged twice, twice a week, three times a week, or maybe once a day, you pull back to once a week. So that's where you were in the immediate past. Pulling back, because I think you wanted to have time to assess your feelings for her because you were very attracted to her. You are attracted to her. But the block, right, the block for you was, ah, okay, she really wants serious, she wants marriage, she wants, you know, um, moving forward into a long-term commitment. And I'm just not sure that when you met, you were wanting that. And it could be because you were still healing from a relationship in the past that didn't work out. It could be that you just felt that you wanted to settle into a routine where you almost created a new social circle of, I'm going to say it, it may sound a bit bad, potential girlfriends, potential people that you were interested in, so that you could sit back and then think, you know, okay, so this woman I like, this woman, maybe not, um, this one lives, lives too far away, this one, yeah, you know, not for me. Um, and I'm not feeling there's any sense of ego here, Libra, but I do feel that you also know your worth. So you could have a great personality. You could have a very stable position in a job. You could be very attractive. You kind of know that you've got it going on as well, but so does she. And to your surprise, this is a woman who is not chasing you, which kind of you've been used to. She's pulled right back and said, no, this is what I want. This is what I'm gunning for. Um, this is what I'm moving towards. I do want commitment now. I'm ready. I'm ready. And I know it. So you're a bit bemused because you're quite surprised that she's not chasing you because you're quite a good catch. Um, but you don't want to ruin this connection by pulling away when you feel that there's still things that you want to get to know about her. I almost feel as if you are rethinking your ideas of commitment. And I think, Libra, it's because whoever this woman is, is not codependent. She is totally independent. She may have her own budding career. She may be doing extremely well um, financially, very stable. This is a woman, Libra, that you realise is not going to lean on you. She's not going to take from you. She's not going to sit at home and expect you to do everything. So you're standing back a little bit, pulling back from being over flirty, over passionate, and you're kind of putting her in the friend zone. But the more you realise that, that she is uninterested in you, ironically, the more interested you are in her. And she may well know that. She could be very astute and realise how much she's got to offer and think, well, yeah, I'm not going to chase the Libra. No, you know, if this if this Libra just wants friends with benefits, he's, he's got other women to pick from, he might think he's this, that and the other, then I'm just going to let him get on with this thing. Fine, I'll find someone else. And Libra, I have to be honest, I don't think you like it because you know how much she's got to offer. And I think this is a very specific situation. It could be that you're living in an area with not that much going on socially. Um, it could be that, you know, the women that you've met have been either 10 years too young, 10 years too old for you, um, or they are codependent, they want babies, and maybe you might be in your 40s and divorced and think, no, I, the last thing I want is more children or children. She definitely is kind of what you want but the problem is she does want long-term commitment and you're a bit sort of I don't know anyway moving on from that four of wands in your thoughts you're thinking Libra 
about moving forward with her. You're emotionally delving into the thought of what would actually this what, what would actually this be like if we took things more seriously. And Libra, this is just something that you're dipping in and out of in your mind. You're pondering this. There's no rush, no rush. You've just met each other. You've either been dating for, you know, just two or three months, very casually, almost more friends based. Or, you know, you've literally just met her and there's a strong attraction between the two of you, but you're kind of just getting to know each other. But you are already leaping forward into the future and kind of thinking, all right, well, she wants to get serious. She's told me very early, almost with a view of, well, if we're not on the same page, if this is not what you're looking for, then I'm going to head off and meet someone else. So you know exactly why she's told you that. And she's very been, been very open about it, which you kind of respect, because it's not as if she's scared to let you know that she wants something serious. She's very out there. She's, spoke, she's spoken a truth. And you're thinking about this because you're kind of a bit intrigued about how confident this woman is. So you're thinking, Four of Wands is taking things to the next level, moving in together. This is a stable relationship that you're thinking about with her. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the energy come through in the immediate future, please? Beginning no, end of September, beginning of October. OK, so guys, we're looking at the last week of September, first week of October. OK, you are sat in the nine of swords in a reverse. Now, this is you. Feeling a bit on your own. It could be that you actually maybe subconsciously put all your eggs in your bar in one basket with this woman. And then you found out, wow, OK, she wants serious. She wants marriage. She wants to move in together with someone in the future. Not right now. That's too early. But she's been very open about exactly what she wants. And she's she's not going to waver. She's not going to waver. This is a woman who's not going to change her mind. That's why she's told me early. But you've been sat feeling a bit alone. And you've been thinking a lot, Libra, as you do. Well, could there be some kind of compromise and also you've been thinking well rather than pulling back now out of fear of oh god okay she really wants something serious and i'm not sure i want it why am i you've told yourself why am i worrying now because i don't really even know this woman that well so rather than stressing about it and rather than cutting off out of fear that i'm going to be dragged down the aisle right, in a couple of months, um, you've come to the realisation that you just need to relax about it. She's not putting any pressure on you. She's pulled right back. She's doing her own thing. And she's almost put you in the friend zone, as you have put her in the friend zone. And you've begun to realise, well, what is a problem? We can still see each other. We can still socialise. We can still kind of date. And she knows that I know what she wants. And she knows that I am not sure I want marriage and long-term commitment at the moment. You're realising that you've been stressing about this for no reason. Because it's not as if she's chasing you. She's pulled right back. She's the Empress. I think you're going to have a conversation, Libra. And I think the conversation is going to be, look, you know... I know what you want, you know what I want, but why don't we just see where this goes? Because this is a very new connection. So, yeah, I mean, we've spoken our truth. We know exactly what each other is wanting in a connection. But what is the, what's the hurt in, you know, getting to know each other a bit more? Giving it time. Even if we stay as very good friends. What is the problem with that? We don't need to cut off now. She's very happy with that. Her reaction is, yeah, great. OK, fine. It could be that she has an all consuming career and she just really enjoys your company and she's very happy taking it super slowly. 
And so this is her reaction. Sure. Yeah. Why do we? I just wanted to you to know when we first started kind of dating so that you were well aware that I really do want a serious relationship at some point in the future. But for now, sure, let's have fun. Let's have a few drinks out when we meet up, when we have the time. And let's just let's just chill out about it. And this is something that you've realised. It's a very nice energy. Yes, in your fears, you're fearing Wheel of Fortune that you were actually supposed to be with this woman. It might have been a very unusual connection. OK, she might have sort of turned up in your life when you least expected it, when you were really ready to be with someone. OK, it could be that she moved to one area, you moved to one area and you realise, wow, we both moved to the same area at the same time. There's going to be something that you're going to realise maybe was destiny. And you're a bit nervous about that because it's almost as if you feel as if the divine is forcing your hand, saying to you, yeah, this is your person. But the block for you has been, yeah, but do I really want long term commitment? I mean, if you've been married before, Libra, maybe you're thinking, I never want to get married again. And that was something that you told yourself. Don't want to go down that road again. But this is something I think you're going to relax with going forward. You're not going to be panicking too much about this. You, you're just realising, well, since she's not pressuring me and I'm not, you know, I, I'm on my own and, and I'm not sort of surrounded by lots of other people that I feel tickle the boxes. Why don't we just see where this goes? I feel, Libra, there's a little bit of a sense of your nose being put out of joint because I do feel there's um, the energy of you may be being chased by other women. Maybe you're a catch, right? And she's not. She's the only one that's not chasing you. She's the only one that isn't messaging you every day, wanting to see you. When can we meet up? And actually, ironically, because she's pulled right back, you're even more intrigued. Because she's super confident. This is a woman who's going to stand back and wait for the right man who was on the same page as her, rather than move forward with someone and compromise. Yeah, she could be very stubborn. She could be very stubborn. If she's a Leo, right, with Taurus in a chart or Taurus with Leo in a chart, that's a heck of a lot of, a little bit of stubbornness, a bit of pride. But you do like each other. And so I think this is you deciding, yeah, okay, all right, let's just put each other on the back burner and just see what happens. Why am I stressing about this so early? What you're hoping for is a commitment. So you have decided in your heart of hearts, yeah, you know, I don't just want to be playing the field until I'm 70. Yeah, you know, I do eventually want a commitment. But I think the issue is she actually wants marriage. She wants a traditional relationship. She wants to get engaged. She wants to get married. She wants the the seriousness of a long-term contract in love, okay? She feels she wants it. This could be a woman who's been a career woman and never married, and her dream one day is to get married. Maybe she feels that, you know, she's waited a long time to meet the right man, um, and marriage is, is definitely what she wants. She doesn't want to just live with someone. You are wanting a commitment, but with the Ace of Pentacles, that's just the start of you getting to know each other. And so this is you thinking, I'm just going to see how this goes. I'm just going to just take my time with this. If she's cool with it, I'm cool with it. Let's not cut things off now. Because remember, it's not a supporting wall we're looking at. This is not a final block. It's a partition wall. We can kind of knock that down. We can tailor this relationship to the way we want to move forward in it if that makes sense eight of wands in the outcome yeah passionate messages so things are moving forward okay this does represent that later on you're going to realize there is chemistry and you may decide you may decide to change your mind about wanting marriage in the future she may decide to change her mind about wanting marriage in the future. The two of you may find a happy compromise. The Eight of Wands is fast movement forward. 
Now, if there's also distance between the two of you, you're going to be moving this forward and you're going to be seeing each other far more as you realise neither of you are pushing this in any direction. And ironically, because neither of you are putting pressure on the other, things move forward quite quickly. No pre preconceived ideas. So, Nine of Wands. You have been struggling, Libra, with making a decision. But you realise, well, why was I struggling making a decision? When actually I didn't need to all along. And I think the decision, Libra, you felt you had to make when you first met this woman and she told you what she wanted was, OK, I either date her or I let her go. Or I say, OK, we're, we're not on the same page. See you, Felicia. Let's head off and do our separate things. What you're realising is there's no hard and fast rules in the game of love. There's compromise. There's patience. There's flexibility. There's let's see how things go. So there was you struggling. Oh, I've got to make this decision. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do I let her go? No, she's great. She ticks all the other boxes for me. And then you've realised I don't need to make a decision. Why am I even putting pressure on myself to do that? We can just see how things go. She's not running after me. Nice and relaxed. King of Cups in reverse. Libra. This, I think, is a little bit of an issue. OK, I've got to be honest. King of Cups in the upright is a man who is very much in touch with his emotions. He lets his heart rule his head. He goes with his inner feelings, his gut instinct. If he feels that there is an emotional connection with someone, he goes with it. Libra, you have been so up in your head. You haven't allowed yourself to be in touch with your feelings. You've been thinking about this from a very logical point of view, which is Libra. You like your life to be balanced, but you haven't been in touch with your emotions. It's almost as if you've sat back and thought, well, I don't care if I am attracted to this woman. I don't care if I am developing feelings for her. It's not what I want. So, you know, um, maybe I should cut off. In your head, you've been thinking that because you haven't been in touch with your emotions. I think that's going to change because you haven't allowed your emotions to come to the surface about the situation, about her. You've been keeping yourself stuck at crossroads. You haven't allowed yourself to just go with the flow and move forward. I think you're doing it now because you're realising she's not texting you every day going, hey, you know, um, are we getting together? She's pulled right back which in a way makes you feel a lot easier about things. There's no pressure. So, with the Ten of Pentacles, you may be concentrating on your financial stability. She may be concentrating on her financial stability. Great. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. You're not sure that you really want to work in partnership to build a solid platform for a long-term relationship. But then again, what is the rush? You're contemplating this. You may be also thinking, Libra, if I get serious with this woman, how is that going to affect my finances? The reason that you may decide maybe not to marry in the future is that, well, you know, I got divorced and I lost half my money. I never want to get married again because I can't afford, if it didn't work out, for me to lose everything. It could be, Libra, and I say this in the kinder sense, that you don't want to get too serious because you are very worried about your finances. And I'd love to say, Libra, you shouldn't be thinking about your money when this is about love because we're, we live in a practical world. I mean, this is life, right? We all have to pay our mortgage, our taxes, our rent. Um, and I totally understand that for some of you guys out there, you may be a bit fearful. Well, yeah, if I do move forward with this woman and it gets serious, I know she wants marriage. If we get married and it doesn't work out, uh, you know, this is going to mean that I am quite skint. 
you know, I may not have enough for the rest of my life to live on. But Libra, you're jumping way too far into the future. And I think this is what this is. Nine of Swords is, oh, panic, 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 panic. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm feeling very on my own. Ah, oh, but do I want marriage? Your clarity. She's chilled out. She's, why are we worrying about this? She could be dating other guys. As far as you are concerned, you may just be one guy that she's kind of having a drink with once a week. Nothing serious. So don't worry. Take it easy. Take it as it comes. Don't stress. Because she's not stressing. If it doesn't work out with you, that she will move on and find someone else. But this is you making the decision. The whole reading, Libra, is about you allowing yourself to coast, relax, pull back. Not have to make a hard and fast decision right now. Why should you? She's not bothered. If she's not bothered, why should you be? And just see how things go. Because there is a potential that this could work out in the future. With compromise. It's not a it's not a supporting wall, right? It's a partition wall. There's ways around making this work if you both decide you really want to in the future. For now, chill out, relax, have a few drinks, keep in touch, see how things go. And Libra, do get in touch with your feelings. Don't be led by logic. This is not logic, this is love. So allow yourself to just relax. Okay? Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I think it was a very interesting reading. Take your time with this. And the main message is, if she's not worrying about this, why are you? Pull back, enjoy. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. If it does, both of you, I feel, will be able to compromise. Okay, so take care of you, Libra. I shall see you very, very soon. Bye now.